Okay, welcome back to another tutorial on our mathematics course based on functions within Moodle. Um, in today's lesson, we'll be looking at the assignment activity within Moodle. So let's turn editing on. Scroll down and click on add an activity or resource. And we'll be setting up the assignment module or the assignment activity. And when you click on it, it will open up this window and first we need to provide a name for our assignment and since this is based on functions we'll use the name functions this will be our name of our activity and now we can provide a description for our activity Okay, so we want the learners to upload a written assignment uh, based on the questions that are posed to them. Additional files, I'll upload one file. So this will be the exercise. Once we've uploaded additional files, we can scroll down and add other settings to this assignment activity. So let's click on Availability. And here we can set the submission date, the due date, and the cutoff date. And we can also set a remind me to grade date. So currently, my submission date will be allowed from the 27th of June. And then my due date will be the 4th of July. Now, usually, I set my cutoff date the same date as my due date. So let's do that. And now remind me to grade at the 11th, or we can set it on a previous date. Scroll down. If we click on submission types, here we can set the type of submission we want to allow learners to upload. Here it says the maximum number of uploads is 20. Let's choose one. Currently, my submission policy is 128 megabytes, but you can increase or decrease the size depending on the file your learners will upload. You can also allow certain file types to be uploaded if you, and you can specify it in this box. Let's click on feedback types. These are the types of feedback that you are allowed to provide learners. Usually I set mine to feedback files also feedback comments also you can set it on comment inline submission settings required students to click on submit button yes require that students accept the submission statement yes this will allow users to accept the statement that it's their own work and not somebody else's work Additional attempts? No, you never want to allow additional attempts. Then group submission settings. Uh, if it's a group assignment, then you can allow this, set this to yes. But since it's not a group assignment, I'll leave it on no. Notifications? I want users to re uh, receive notifications when the submissions are, um, when the assignments are submitted. And I want to send the notification to the teacher when an assignment is submitted. So I'll set it to yes, yes. And then the grade, let's just do that, yes and yes. The grade, am I going to use a mark? And the maximum mark is 100. I can also set it here to scale, but let's leave it on point. Then the grading method will be simple and direct. I can set a grade to pass here. Then anonymous submissions, I don't want to allow this. Hide grade identity from students. 
let's say you have a moderator or um, external moderator that needs to mark this you can hide uh, the grade identity the grade identity use marking flow I don't want to use this and under common module settings I leave it as default restrict access I leave it as is and then activity completion I click on show activity as complete when conditions are met students must view the activity to be completed and students must submit the activity to be completed and they need to receive a grade to be completed I leave everything as is and I click on save and display now you can see this is the description I've typed the date will open on Sunday and the due date is the 4th of July then this is the additional file I uploaded and I'll open it now and here's the instructions in this activity you'll need to upload your written assignment to which will be marked online now when a student ends up here he or she clicks on the assignment and it will download to the computer they open it and here's the assignment that they need to complete and once they've completed it they can upload it back onto their profile and it will be marked online by the teacher okay so this is how you set up the assignment activity and let's go back to our course and here you can see functions assignment when it will open and when is the due date now let's look at it from a student's perspective I need to log out as a teacher now and log back in as a student once I'm logged in as a student I click on my course scroll down and click on functions assignment now the student needs to read the instructions click on the assignment to download it open it and complete it once the student completed the assignment he or she needs to save it as a PDF remember we're marking it online and we upload it to his profile so let's click on add submission and now he or she can drag and drop it to the file picker once it's uploaded we click on save changes and here it will be uploaded and ready for marking now the student can either edit the submission or remove the submission now let's log in as a teacher to actually see how the teacher can mark this assignment Immediately when the teacher clicks on the assignment, he will see that uh, there are one participant, one submission and one that needs grading. The teacher can click on view all submissions. And here you will see that one student submitted the assignment. Now the teacher can click on grade. this will load the activity within the marking zone the teacher can mark it by clicking on the stamp icon and selecting either the correct or incorrect stamp you'll notice that this is page one of three you can skip to the next page 
by clicking on the arrow pointing to your right. The teacher continues marking until until it's done. Now the teacher can provide a grade and provide feedback. Once he's done marking, he can click on Save Changes and you'll see that it also notifies the students of the activity that is marked. Let's go back to the activity. You'll see now that needs grading is zero and when you click on grades you will see that the activity that is marked is now graded and the student obtained a grade. And this is how we set up an assignment activity and mark it online and allow learners to submit the activities and also receive notifications when the assignments are due or when the assignments were marked.